like a star. Let's show the world who we can be by using our creativity. Come on. Sometimes it's easy to feel like I've given all I got. Is there anything more? I get down, get stuck, boxed in, locked up. I gotta get moving, moving. Gotta get moving. closest thing to being on in theater <laughs> in, a, on a movie, in a movie in a movie hey guys wanted to share an encouraging testimony with y'all um, we had a team go out to the EU EUR park in the evening and there were two ladies who were walking and they had been approached by some of our team members and they were given a track and and they very clearly said that they didn't want to uh, wanted a track and wanted to just keep walking and on that same park, me, Morgan, and Caleb, were, we were further up ahead. And they ended up walking up right next to us to kind of look over uh, by the water. And Morgan ap approached these same women with the track. And they also said, hey, you know, you're, some of your friends already gave this to us. And then I got to share a few things with them in, in Italian. And uh, that opened up the... The conversation to again share the gospel go through the track with them I asked them if they'd ever read the Bible and they said no and uh, Morgan was able to have an Italian Bible with her and so we brought them through uh, a lot of great uh, verses uh, that they got to read for themselves in their own language like John 14 6 John 3 16 <clears throat> and um, they had a lot of great questions about the faith, uh, wanted to know the difference between Christianity and Catholicism. And then towards the end, one of the ladies actually mentioned she wants a Bible uh, for herself to be able to actually read God's Word um, on her own time. And so um, we actually were able to give these two ladies uh, the Italian Bible and encourage them to read it and also told them a little bit of information about the church on the back. And so... Uh, we're praying that they're able to to make it uh, to service one of these weeks, um, but it was an encouraged testimony of how someone who was uh, very clearly didn't want to talk, uh, then you know by God's providence we were able to share with them again, and how they opened up to actually want to read the Bible themselves. And so my encouragement is if you if you have uh, any Italian Bibles, uh, order them, bring them to Italy. And then if you can learn some a few so a few Italian phrases, that'll also be helpful. So, yep. See you guys soon. Hey, Antioch family. Uh, so excited to do our third video with you guys. Um, many of you have seen the Chronicles of Narnia and just watch that scene um, many times where uh, one of the characters says, Aslan is on the move and, and that the Narnia was frozen. Uh, there was no life. Uh, things were dying, um, but yet when Aslan was on the move and things were beginning to uh, break and the, the ice was beginning to break and you could see the waterfalls and flowers and um, because the word of God um, was coming alive in people's hearts and we've experienced that here in Rome. Um, remember in Luke 10 uh, where Jesus is sending out his disciples and, and one of the things he says is, if they receive you, stay. And, you know, if they reject you, leave. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? Um, and as we were talking with the impact team uh, just the other day, it was about 37, I think, of you guys. And uh, one of the things that people kept saying over and over, this is such a peaceful place. We've been to other places where we've been rejected, even at home. I mean, we've been rejected so many times, just the hardness. Uh, but yet when we're here, it's so easy to talk to people. What is going on? And we just said, well, Aslan's on the move. God is doing a work in Rome. He's led us to the right place. And um, I just can, I'm just i going to be sharing with you guys a few testimonies. It's going to be really exciting. But one of the things we've been believing for um, is just that we'd be a people of faith again. That we would, uh, in Hebrews, it says here that now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. And then it goes here in verse 5, uh, actually verse 6, it says, without faith it is impossible to please him. 
For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. We want to seek God. Remember that uh, last week we talked about Hebrews 4 of coming into the throne room of grace and asking God for the things that we need. And Lord, we're believing that you're going to move in Rome and through our people. Uh, We've even gotten in contact with some guys and uh, they've been here for five to 12 years. Uh, they're on staff with crew and they're just blown away. They're like, how in the world do you bring 175 people to Rome? That's insane. Uh, and so we're going to, uh, there's another a team coming in from New York uh, for 10 days with about a team of 10. We're going to partner with them as well. Um, just some great things happening and just believing God that, um, that, that he wants to save people here and disciple people and bring them into a church so they can discover their gifts and, and they can go out and share the gospel and make disciples as well. He uh, sent me a picture. He's on the impact team. And he came in from the airport and him being a farmer knows something about wheat fields and, and uh, about uh, corn and, and, and everything else, you know. And one of the things he said, uh, he sent me a picture and, and I'll show, we'll show you um, a picture of this, but you could see that the harvest is not ready. It's, it's green fields. And, and, uh, and two weeks later, he says, you're going to see uh, at the top, you're going to see yellow and maybe even a little brownish color. Uh, and, and then two weeks later, it'll be ready for harvest. Well, two weeks, uh, about 10 days after, uh, just short of two weeks after he uh, left this morning, one of the things he showed me was that they're yellow. And, and so just so cool to see that. And of course, that mirrors uh, and, it, and it parallels this picture in the Bible where uh, Jesus is saying, the harvest is ready, but the workers are few. And, and just seeing that, man, wouldn't it be so cool that uh, four weeks from now, we're going to be going home and we're going to be passing, we're going to be on the Leonardo Express to Fiumicino to go to the airport to go home. And it'd be so cool to see uh, in the physical realm, seeing that the, the fields are ripe for harvest and ready to be harvested, but then also just even spiritually seeing that people get saved after those meetings initially of giving them a track and then meeting up with them a second or third time and then seeing them go to church and give their life to the Lord. Let's believe for that. Let's pray for that. And uh, I have a few more things to share with you. So as far as the team dynamic goes, as far because I meet with team A and team B on Monday, Tuesday, and then we have a break on Wednesday, and then we reconvene on uh, Friday and Saturday. It's been so rich. Our team times have been awesome. Just going through, um, what does it mean to be godly? What does it mean to be content? What does it mean to not envy? Uh, having a sorrow for someone else is good. It's a great quote by Thomas Aquinas. And uh, just talking about you know, how that, can, that actually steals our joy and, and, uh, and that we actually want to honor other people's giftings and how they're wired and how, and, and how they can serve the church and, so, and not envy, but, but actually serve the Lord with joy. And so we also talked about uh, just uh, other ways to be humble uh, as we're under leadership, but then also as leaders, how to be humble towards the people that we lead. So it's been some rich times. We also got to celebrate many birthdays, um, graduation. Uh, it's been it's been a great, great time to just uh, worship together, have extended times of ministry time where we're praying for each other. Uh, it's just been uh, so much uh, community building. Um, I couldn't be more happier. Um, and as far as our partners uh, here in Italy, we uh, Nicole and I got the privilege of taking our family down to South EUR, uh, where the church is located there, um, and we got to meet up with Cesare's family, which is so much fun, um, getting to know them. They have five kids, uh, all under the age of seven. Can you imagine that, right? Uh, but th- we just had a great time getting to know each other. Uh, we're building more and more relationship with, uh, with Johnny and his church, and, and Simone, and Cristiano, and uh, and, and so many of the people there that serve in that church. It's been awesome. We, we, had, we actually had service on Sunday morning last week. Uh, and we and then in the afternoon, uh, we got to travel to the beach. Uh, our beaches are not the same. They're, they're, they're a lot different. Uh, I'm so thankful for Florida beaches. But it was cool to be at an Italian beach there and, and get to witness um, just singing Amazing Grace together um, in Italian and just being able to, uh, to hear a little message from Johnny on uh, why baptism is important um, from Romans 6. And then we got to see two women be baptized. It was, it was precious. It was really pretty to see uh, just the, the, the church, bellissimo. It was amazing to see the church come together. And these two girls who uh, had spent their life, like many of us, in darkness and in sin, but just got to see them just weeping as they're telling their testimony uh, and, and just so thankful for what God's doing in this church. He's growing this church here in Italy, and we get to be a part of that. 
All right, on the mission front, guys, uh, which is some great things happening. We have 520 gospel seeds that have been planted at the recording of this. Uh, I'm sure by in a couple days from now, it'll be more than that. Um, it keeps growing. It's just amazing uh, to see how many tracks are going out, how many gospel conversations are going out. Um, uh, in the impact team, one of the testimonies um, that Kirk shared uh, was just that, you know, people on the team really want to learn the language. I think, you know, they've remember I said a couple months back that I think we have a real future here in Italy, um, which is really exciting. And I think people see that they get that vision. They're like, man, we want to come back. We won't even spend three months. We had a Q&A with Johnny the other night and uh, on Monday night when all of us were together. And one of the things he says, like, hey, we're looking for people to stay for three months and learn the language and serve our church. And so maybe that could be you um, in the next couple of years to do that. And uh, it's just, again, he said it's really easy. And this is coming from a person that after I shared vision about going to Rome, he's like, I don't know about Rome. I've been to Rome. There's a lot of tourists and stuff. And he's like, man, I was wrong. Uh, there are so many Italians here that we got to talk to and meet with. Uh, and so a lot of our people want to come back already. Uh, I know the impact team uh, just at the leaving uh, this morning, they left and, and they, they were like, man, I want to come back. I wish I was on base team. Maybe next time. Maybe next year. Benji also had a great conversation uh, with a Catholic student and got to follow up and talk about Martin Luther and the Reformation and the importance of that and the importance of uh, the, the Ephesians 2 says that, you know, you're not saved by your works, but you're saved by grace. They're going to have another conversation. Um, so you can be praying for that, that, that God would move in, in that person's life. Greg and China uh, on the impact team got to go out um, at the mall and meet up with a police officer. And he was uh, having questions about his faith, and so they got to share the gospel. Um, he does go to a Catholic church, but I think he's been uh, maybe somewhat dissatisfied, and um, and he's uh, hungry to learn more. And so um, they had a follow-up dinner uh, with him, got to share the full gospel with him, and so that's exciting. It's amazing. Just the, the soil is ripe, and, and now that they left, uh, Feli's going to come in and, and being on the base team, see how the impact and the base team work together. They got to follow up with him, or he's going to, Philly's going to follow up with him and give him a Bible because he, he wants his, he wants a Bible. Um, and so just pray for that discipleship that it would go well and that he would uh, become a disciple of Christ and, and then make disciples um, down the road. Amen.